Welcome to this review of Pamela. Pamela is a 2016 sci-fi survival horror game. In this review we will have a look at some of the positives and negatives and hopefully we can come to an informed decision as to whether or not I can recommend this game. So to begin with the positives, first right off the bat Pamela has a good con it's, it, it's based on a very good concept. If you like zombie-like and sci-fi survival horror games, then Pamela will initially capture your interest. I particularly like the feel of the game, um, so I like the idea of being trapped on this island city called Eden, where you need to survive against overwhelming odds after a disease ravages the population in that city. Initially, Pamela feels quite a bit like Dead Island, which is a game series I much enjoyed. One of the similarities I feel between the two games is that sense of isolationism, that sense of being on your own in a hostile place, never knowing what's around the next corner. Another strong component to Pamela is the survival aspect. So it's obviously a survival game and some of the elements are implemented quite nicely so you have to for example manage limited inventory space which is typical of survival games like Resident Evil and The Evil Within and those titles. You also find items in the world like food and current currency which assist you in your survival. So Pamela has enemies, the major enemy in the game is zombies or zombies uh, or zombie like creatures and um, initially these zombies can be quite frightening so they the sound effect the sound effects are really good so it's you'll often come up against a frightening streak in the background and before you look there's a zombie right behind you so it's quite it's quite intimidating Zombies also lash out furiously and they can hit with some force if you're not quick enough to get out the way and initially at the start they take some effort to defeat. The first time I came across a zombie was quite memorable particularly because at the beginning of the game you have no weapons so you need to beat the zombie with your fists basically. Um, but unfortunately the more you play the more the zombies lose their appeal they stop, they stop becoming scary once you notice some of the flaws in the AI. Um, also, they lack variety, such as in body size, animation, and behavior. Other zombie games like Dying Light and Dead Island do a good job at mixing things up a bit, adding a bit of variety in there. Different size, different body sh shapes, zombies. Um, different attack styles and so on that's however that however that's lacking in Pamela also worth talking about on the positive side is the environment the overall the overall style is quite good so the world looks really great and there you can see the developers paid attention to detail so initially the mood is set quite well there are dark and ominous areas that you will you'll you'll explore and like you get the atmosphere coming through things like emergency lights flickering in the background and you find various debris on the floor like paper bins furniture or and body bags even these are scattered across the floor and what this really does is sh it communicates narrative so the the there are scenes these are scenes basically that are clearly communicating that some major disaster occurred in this place before you arrived. So the world building, I would say, is quite good here in Pamela. But unfortunately, the negatives are, are quite strong here. And I think they overshadow the good. So the AI is really bad, um, especially of, of the zombies. When you come up against them, they 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 um, get stuck on environmental objects. They uh, 
sometimes slow to react it's just it just it loses initially after the first few times you come up against the zombies it starts to lose its appeal um, also very prominent are the bugs in this game so enemies get stuck on environmental objects enemies sometimes half appear through wars and there's a lot of clipping enemies get stuck behind objects in which they cannot navigate around which always breaks the immersion there was a case when enemies floated in the the zombie floated in the air um, and although I didn't experience it other players have have noted how they've experienced crashes and freezing um, basically together this is all very immersion shattering and it's quite a problem that is easily noticed when you play through Pamela. Also the user interface and menu system could have been designed much better. Quite, uh, the, the UI has quite a horrible color scheme of greens and blues. It's also very clunky and difficult to navigate. Initially it's very it presents a lot of information that is not immediately obvious to the player. So you got to do a lot of guesswork and clicking to to learn what the menus mean and what they're communicating. Also very problematic is the background sound. Um, it's, it's as if there's a very definite lack of sound and much and much and just too much silence in areas where there should be background noise. I mean silence can be a good thing in a game like especially if you're looking to create certain atmosphere but the absence of sound itself is never good. So for example in Pamela you you won't hear any echoes or you won't be hear any background sounds of objects being knocked over in the distance banging noises or anything like that all these sort of um, background noises that contribute to the atmosphere and that uneasiness that you feel when you're playing a survival horror game you don't get this in Pamela it's almost as if um, it reminded me of like it's almost as if you floating through space and it's just absolute silence you just don't hear anything everything in Pamela looks really good like the environments look really good but when it neglects the sound it's just quite shattering for immersion and the overall appeal of this game I think Pamela is I felt very disappointed I I found that I, I feel that the world and the environment and the world building is really great the setting is good and the story could have also been amazing if it was implemented better all of these elements just really are badly executed and i felt just after the first several hours playing with pamela i just couldn't motivate myself to keep on going so i uninstalled it i just feel that the negatives far outweigh the positives and this means i cannot recommend pamela to anyone um, Personally, I felt that Pamela would make a much better novel just because it's easier to implement ideas on a page than in a video game. So yeah, very disappointing. This could have been a really good addition to Dead Island and Dying Light and, the, and that genre of game. But unfortunately, that's not the case.